you might have seen memes going around like this or there's been several like this and if you talk to any kind of wait staff they'll tell you that this is true i've seen this with my own eyes myself so this kind of thing really perplexes people like how is this possible well jesus talked about it there's there's wheats and tares or the word we would use now would probably probably be weeds in other words good crops and bad crops in every field and that means every organization every group of people it's everywhere it's not that you can just say some words with your mouth and then you're you're in this special club and and that's that's not how it works so that's what's going to be really confusing for people about the difficulties the persecution that's going to come to America for Christian groups is because a lot of it will be coming from Christian groups. In fact, a lot of it already is. But the tares, the bad crop, a lot of times you can see you can see it revealed. It's it's revealed what's going to happen. What who's going to be um, pointing their finger at you when the official comes around looking. Now, I'm not saying that somebody has a bad day in a restaurant, that they're, you know, of, of the kingdom of darkness. I'm not saying that. You know, we all fall short of the glory. But in general, if, uh, you know, if there's a constant um, problem with uh, waiting for your pro- pasta primavera, and that makes you not exhibit the fruits of the Spirit like patience and kindness, what do you think that person is going to be like when pressure is applied, when you could lose your job, when you could be put maybe in jail or something like that. Uh, We've seen this earlier um, when the churches were shut down a few years ago due to that certain problem. People were watched. People were put under surveillance. Some people went to jail for going to church. And most people had zero problems with it. So let's go back in time to look forward in time, okay? Because what happened to Jesus is the the general world's response to the kingdom of God. So let's take a trip back and see so we can speak more plainly. Uh, During Jesus' time, there were two competing political systems. Guess which one was for Jesus? Neither one. (laughs) They both played a part in crucifying Jesus. Neither one of them liked him. There was a religious structure involved that claimed to support who Jesus was before he actually came there. Were they for him? No. (laughs) Neither political system or any flavor of the religion that was the religion of the traditional religion of the country were for Jesus. They were all opposed to him. All the institutions of man were opposed to the son of the living God. That's not going to change. Um, There's a lot of people that their political system, either one here in America, they're not going to say this, but they have much more allegiance to that political system than they do the son of God. And if you run afoul of that political system, they're looking at you and they will. Okay. Um, again, look back in time. Nothing's changed. History repeats itself. Look back just a few years ago to when churches were shut down in the country. Like it's so clear. Okay. Um, God bless you. Stay close to Christ. Don't be surprised. Don't let these things blindside you when they are completely out in the open in the coming years. God bless you.